Hey folks, I'm Peter Melhorn and in this video I'm going to show you some of my tips and tricks for putting white perch in the boat. Alright, I just rolled up here and anchored up to catch some catfish. Seen some stuff on the sonar that looked like white perch. So I just drop a bait in the water. <laughs> they see me rolling, they hating. White perching, baby. White perching. Thought that's what it was on sonar. Got a little piece of bluegill on there. A little piece of red worm. Boom, there's one. Boom, there's two. He came off, second one came off. I felt him pop loose. Kabam. Three in the boat in less than 90 seconds. Twenty pound line. Little double hook rig. Boom, there's one. There's two right there. There's two. Ah, oh, he came off. That gum it. Losing that second one every time. Keep it right near the bottom. Get them to latch on. I'll put a piece of red one on there. They definitely seem to like that. Got some red worm out here catching bluegill earlier for bait. If you thread this thing on here like a jig. I wish, I wish, I wish I would have brought some gulp with me because I have been meaning to try out the gulp saltwater baits, soft plastics, to see if these perch would hit it when they're schooled up. And these are schooled up fish. Ooh, two pieces of red worm and they're not hitting it. It's good, boom, there goes one. Boom. Two, 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 two. There we go. Kabam, one's quick release into the flow. There he is. There we go. Damn it, he's underneath the seat. It's always bad. A little piece of brim back on there. Generally, that'll stay on the hook a little bit better. Now, some people wonder, why do you fish for white perch? Well, one, it's fun. Two, it's fun. And three, they make great catfish bait. Uh, that's all the reason I need, really. They're down there. Sometimes they can be lethargic to bite. Boom, there's one. But once you get one, I lose them. So, got one anyway. Easy piggy piggy. Another one. Yeah, they make great catfish bait. pieces of bluegill on there. Let's see if that makes a difference. Playing around a little bit here. Here they are fun to catch, especially when they get schooled up. They're actually good to eat too. People have asked about that. Uh, probably one of the better eating fish in the lake. Um, people get upset with them because they get in the way of catching crappy a lot of times. But uh, my attitude is, well, you just have to change your mindset on what you're going fishing for. Go fishing for these. I just like to catch fish, so I'm not usually somebody that's real, gets too hung up on having to catch a certain kind of fish. I guess if you're wanting to have crappy for dinner, you can do that. Deuces again. 
We're deucing it up, boys. Deucing it up. Got my bait. Got that one. This is how you do it. Do, 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 do. This is how we do it. A little double hook rig. Show you there. A couple of hooks. Number eight. Got my got two circle hooks. Just got a little one ounce sinker on the end of it. See, I got some 20 pound line. You don't need 20 pound line. It's just. Fish is about like six pound line. Cast really good. And it's really tough. As you can see. When you park on top of them, it makes catching look easy. Boom, that should be deuces there. I felt a second hit. Yes, sir. Now, if you had a sabiki rig right now, you don't know what a sabiki is look that up you could probably be catching six at a time doing this that can turn into a tangled mess two of them on the floor deuces deuces Had a sabiki rig, got multi hooks on it, use them offshore. You could catch five or six at a time. The problem is, you get too many of them on there and uh, it can make a mess real quick. Popping on it, bam, got them. Feels like two, yep, deuces. Deuce a lot. Deuces again. Deuces. Oh yeah, they're back. Another one. Just got one. Get, Get my plug back in the tank here. Drain some, drain some of the water out. Right there is what you're looking at on the sonar. That is a school of active feeding white perch. Got him. Two. Two, 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 two. Oh, he came off right at the boat. Yes, they do look like white bass. Similar. They also look a little bit like a striper. That's because they're related to the striped bass. of the same there we go a lot of the same habits of a striped bass two of them again we're killing them folks we're efficiently killing them we are killing them brother as you can see boom screen is covered and i'm a catcher two two hit it on the way up there we go boom nice landing nice landing Back in the water. Boom, this is again. Like I said, folks, when it's on fire, it's on fire. And they will get like this sometimes. And you can kill them. 
and then other parts of the year you will wonder if there are any of them in the lake Boom. got one and oop two hit it on the way up Hooked up again, deuces. I got a big old 50 gallon shad shack up here, bait tank. Decided to fire up. Put these suckers in. If I keep catching them, it may get crowded. And there's one. There's one. We'll take him. We will take him. If you're smart here, had the people fish two, three rods at a time. If you can keep them biting, you're better off. I think I got one. Yep. They kind of moved off a little bit. A few were starting to show back up on the sonar. Not as stacked up as they were. That's cool. I'll take them. All right, so I got all these girls I got to put into my big bait tank here at the house. In this bucket. Start dumping them in there. My plan is here, keep these in the home tank. More than enough for many days of fishing those in the tank if you're gonna fish a lot you gotta do your bait prep this is all part of my system keeping a lot of bait or a good bit of bait on standby when I have opportunities to fish. Makes going fishing a lot easier decision and you don't have to worry about catching bait. The last perch is always the hardest bait to catch. Got him. Yeah, that's the thing. If you're going to fish a lot, uh, whether you're a guide or just somebody who has the opportunity to fish a lot, bait's a very big issue, very important. It's hard to go out every morning and catch bait. Uh, sometimes you have to. Sometimes it's the only way to go. But it's nice to be able to stockpile it like I'm doing and uh, have some ready to go. This morning, didn't have any. I had to go out and catch bait. Uh, had to bake bait before I could fish and I did and uh, sometimes you have to do that but it's nice once you can get a bunch of it I got onto it today was able to stockpile it I've got some now I've got excess I was able to give some away to a buddy um, so I'm able to fish uh, with it and have enough to give away and then have enough for the next several trips folks I was catching them pretty good on this trip uh, I tried to tell you some of the things I do I look for uh, hopefully you learned something from it. Uh, if you have any ideas or tips, please put them down in the comment section. Uh, this is a great place and a great resource to share information with other anglers to help them catch more fish. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Smash the bell so you'll be notified when any new videos come out. And we look forward to seeing you on the water.